emptied out my soul You've heard it all before Honest but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? Everything's hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I do all like shop with me videos, pretty much anything to do with like home decor, Target, home goods. If you love any of those things, you're definitely gonna love it here. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. If you haven't or if you're new here, if you watch some of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Today's video is a Hobby Lobby spring and Easter decor shop with me. This store I just know is gonna have a ton of stuff so I'm gonna try to jam pack in as much stuff as I can. Anything that catches my eye, we will see what's going on. I'm not sure what the sale is right now, if it's like wall decor or table decor, but the Easter stuff will definitely be on sale and hopefully we can catch some Valentine's Day clearance. It is a couple weeks after Valentine's Day so I'll be pretty surprised if we see anything. But I just wanted to check it out and see what I could find for you guys. I find Hobby Lobby to be extremely overwhelming. I always get that in the comments as well. People are like, I love that you do these videos because it shows me what to look for when I go, which is exactly why I do these. So I really hope that you guys find this video helpful so let's go ahead head inside and see what they have at Hobby Lobby for spring and Easter decor of 2021 so Valentine's Day clearance like I said is 90% off right now which is so crazy mostly everything I have seen so far especially right here is all craft supplies so if you have kids or your teacher or you're doing like homeschool zoom school whatever it is definitely come here and check it out you can find tons of really really cute craft supplies that can be used all year round little like puff balls hearts all these different things stickers just tons and tons of different crafts that you could use to keep your kids busy no matter what time of the year and they're pennies so that's all they have for valentine's day mostly just arts and crafts stuff now i want to get into easter stuff I'm not gonna go like super, super, super into detail because they have so much stuff, but I'm definitely gonna show you as much as I possibly can. I just wanna show you other cute spring stuff they have here, and if I went super into detail about everything, we would be here for like five hours, and I don't think either of us want that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right off the bat, they have a bunch of these signs that say like, hello spring, welcome, happy Easter, he has risen. And typically these are double-sided. Yeah, so the Happy Easter one also says welcome on the back. So he has risen, has that on the back, and welcome has this on the back. So that makes sense. I had one of these at our old house, but I had it for years and it was honestly starting to get really dingy. It was like a hello fall and then a welcome one and I loved it, but it's gone now. So I would consider getting another one, but maybe like a different style. But these last a really, really long time and I highly recommend. And they are $30, but 40% off right now. And then you can get a 50% off coupon online. They are doing away with that program, but I think right now they still have it. So you could get it for 15 bucks. There's this little welcome sign. It's three wooden bunnies, just little welcome with a burlap bow. That's absolutely adorable. Adorable. only $10, 40% off, so $6. It's a little bit small, it wouldn't have a lot of presents on a door, but maybe in like the middle of a wreath, if you found a wreath with a really big opening, you could like layer them, that would look really nice. Next to it, I really like this. They have this bunny, it's um, like a woven bunny, and then it has these little like white beaded things coming off of it. Some of them have a burlap bow, and then some of them are plain. Personally, I prefer it plain but there are the two different ones. You could also put your own bow on them. These are really nice, really tightly woven, good quality, and they are $21.99 before the sale. They have this little like metal Easter bunny. Honestly, it kind of looks like a tetanus shot waiting to happen if you like look closely at the metal. Does that not like look like something your parents told you not to touch when you were a kid? I don't know. Then there's these, which I actually have seen people posting about these on Instagram. Um, I didn't know where they got it, but now I see that it is from Hobby Lobby. It's like some tall grass with eggs mixed in and then this like rusticy, like whitewashed box. This is $20 before the sale. They have these like little woven like bird nests with Easter eggs in the middle or just eggs. 
it's actually really cute it'd be really nice for like a table place setting you could put one at each place setting and it honestly would do most of the work for you as far as like the decorations go these are ten dollars a piece before the 40 percent off and I, that's what I would personally use them for. I think those would be great as like the middle of a table place setting on the top of like your main or appetizer plate. They have several different styles of bunny figurines. Honestly, there's hundreds to choose from between all the different stores. Here they're gonna be 40% off and I feel like the base price is pretty cheap so then when you add the sale, it's like a really, really good deal. Here are the ones that are right here, but I'm fairly certain we will come across more. These are adorable, these little egg holders. I love all the different colors. White, pink, blue, green, and yellow. The shade of yellow is my favorite. Just love pastels. That's why I love Easter so much. This is with all this other kitchen stuff. Definitely some Ray Dunn vibes here. Easter spring, hip hop, bunny kisses, that sort of kitchen stuff. And then they do have a couple different like kids aprons as well as adult aprons drying mats, little spatulas. This is a perfect little candy dish. I love the bunny like hanging over the side of the bowl. It is $6.99 before the sale. It is small, but it's a perfect little candy dish for like some pastel colored M&Ms or jelly beans. This is a really pretty little jar. Reminds me of one that I have seen at Walmart. Definitely stay tuned for that. This is $6.99 before the sale. It's like a pretty good size too. The ones that I have seen have been smaller than this. Really cute, also would be a great little candy jar. Now this is catching my eye. Is this like a table placeholder name card thing? Because if it is, it's really cute. $2.99 before like any sort of discount and those are awesome. And I see them here in blue and in white. I don't know if they come in any other colors. Those are the only two colors they have here, but these are really, really cool. They have these sets of napkin holders. They are like little floral ones. They come in yellow, blue, pink, purple, and then more little like name card holders as well. These are perfect too for any little like decor shelf that you want to decorate. They're $1.99, these little bunnies I see blue green or blue green and yellow but i imagine that there's probably a pink one that's supposed to go with this this is so cute it's a salt and pepper set blue truck with little carrots on top you just put the salt and pepper goes together like that these are 5.99 for the sale would end up being the same as the ones from the dollar spot and they're totally different i really really love these they're very unique i love this i love the blue truck too i just love all the bright colors definite similar target dollar spot vibes with these bunny salt and pepper shakers I like the ones from the Target dollar spot better I like that they are two different colors these are $5.99 so with the discount would end up being around the same price but I would recommend the dollar spot ones if you can get your hands on it but if you can't or you don't like that one is gray and one is white from the dollar spot this is a great alternative another really nice little like Easter canister if you don't like being able to see like what is inside if to you that feels like a little bit busy or chaotic this is a really good option i love the wooden box with the little ears this is really nice for 5.99 40 percent off this is really really cute if you like more like glitzy easter decor just glitzy decor in general they have these which look more like the intricate like crystal almost blue pink and green are definitely the main colors that they have going on here but they have like little cake stands bud vases these little, maybe like one scoop of ice cream would go in there, I'm not exactly sure, as well as egg holders. If any of you love blue and white, which I know some of you do, this is what they have right here. I feel like some of you would absolutely love this garland. It definitely doesn't have to be Easter garland, really has nothing Easter on it. Just white with the blue and white little tassels. Then they have these like happy Easter signs. Looks like it comes in a couple different colorways so easter blessings and happy easter as well as other little like canvases and really really nice table runners and towels if you are a blue and white fan i feel like they have some really really cute stuff here this year tons of options for like fillable easter eggs a lot of different like sizes metallic ones plain colors all the different things as well as lots of different colors of the little like grass that goes at the bottom they also have like a fluff which almost looks like cotton candy they have the iridescent one the papery crinkle one the plastic one all different colors so tons of options for that here and it's all going to be 40 percent off so these like metallic eggs just make me so happy because growing up 
my mom would put money in them, like a $20 bill or whatever, and she would hide five because there's five of us. But everyone could only get one. So like even if you found two like metallic eggs, like you weren't allowed to keep them. Like it was supposed to be one for everybody. Okay, but then the other thing I wanted to say was I've gotten a couple comments of people being like, you waving your hand in the screen is obnoxious. So can you definitely like let me know down below if it's annoying? I don't do it like to be annoying. I do it so that I can gesture towards what I'm talking about so that you guys know what I'm looking at. Like if I'm showing a whole aisle, I try to point at what I'm directly trying to show you. But I just wanted to know like what the general public thought about it. Like is it helpful? Is it distracting? Let me know. This is a really neat Easter basket, I guess. Honestly, you don't even have to use this for Easter. This could be really nice as a blanket basket if you like folded them up. Not big blankets though, they'd have to be really, really like small throw size blankets. But I think that that would be really neat. Honestly, that's a pretty cool decor piece. They have it in a whitewash and then in like a darker color, but I really like that. It is $79.99 before the 40% off. But I don't know, I just feel like that could be used for so much stuff other than just Easter basket. Lots of like egg filler. They have like metallic ones. They also have these like plaid colored ones, more brightly colored speckled ones, as well as pastels. So a lot of options there for like egg vase filler. They have these really nice little woven carrots that come in a set of three for $2.99. If you ever wanted to do an Easter tree, this stuff would be absolutely perfect. These are perfect little like bunny ornaments. They have these like bigger plushy carrots. They have them in the black and white as well as the orange and white. So the packaged ones have longer stems than these little ones, but tons of different options. These are perfect to put on a tree as well. These like big hanging eggs, they have a bunch of different colors. They also have like plaid ones. So if you're interested in doing an Easter tree, you could always stock up now or when this stuff goes on sale right around Easter or after Easter and do an awesome tree next year. They have a ton of really nice garlands. So they have these floral ones for $11.99. They have them in purple, pink, green, and yellow. I will say it's like paper. It definitely is not meant to look like real floral. Then for more like Easter centric ones, they have this carrot one that is awesome, $13.99. If you can't get your hands on the Opal House one from Target, like I can't, this is a great alternative. Then they have these like egg ones. So this one is like striped little glittery eggs. Then they have this one, which almost looks more like little Cadbury eggs with some natural wooden beads. And that one's only $10. And then this egg one with the glittery eggs is only $7.99. So I definitely feel like some great deals here on those types of garlands. They do have egg garlands that are on like greener type wreaths. Those are more expensive. Those are $21.99, but they are a lot longer. So they go all the way down to the floor. Whereas these ones start more like halfway, if you can see like the size difference. These things are kind of hard to film, but hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say. More little beaded garlands. This pastel beaded garland is absolutely adorable. This is $9.99, honestly perfect for spring and Easter. Just little beads, and then this is more like of a bright rainbow type garland for $9.99, and it has teal tassels, and then the pastel one has pink tassels. Just as I suspected, a bunch more bunny figurines. Pretty much anything you could imagine. They have more of like realistic looking bunnies. They have white iridescent colored bunnies, blue, white, different colors like that. They have glitter bunnies, all different types of little figurines. They also have little like eggs. They have these more like intricate ones, snow globes, he is risen, little plaques. The stuff is all together. They also do have bigger sized ones as well, but any bunny you could ever imagine, you can probably find it this year. Tons of really, really cute wall decor as well. This cottontail confectionery one is really nice. Easter bunnies, jelly beans, candy eggs, handmade daily. Then there's this locally grown carrot patch. Every bunny welcome. He is risen indeed. They have this really cool bunny with glasses. I kind of feel like they have that all year round, but they just moved it into here because now it's Easter time. This Hello Spring sign is really pretty, perfect for Easter time and just the whole spring in general. And then some more like religious focused ones. He has risen, worthy is the lamb tons of wall decor options. They have a lot of little like signs as well. 
gnomes, just any cute little signs, perfect for a tiered tray, any sort of like kitchen shelf, Hobby Lobby shelf, that sort of thing. Okay, pardon the interruption from the Easter decor. I always get tons of comments that are like, what's this Hobby Lobby shelf, what's a Hobby Lobby shelf, what's a Hobby Lobby shelf? And I don't know why, I just feel like everyone knows what it is. I feel like if you've collected Ray Dunn, you know what the Hobby Lobby shelf is. But then I realized, okay, most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. And I talk about this Hobby Lobby shelf in every single video. So I stopped what I was doing, walked over here so I can show you the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf. Okay, here it is. This is the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf. And I know a lot of you are probably like, what <laughs> but a lot of people are obsessed with this shelf i'm actually gonna be probably redoing mine i think i'm gonna take off the hardware and spray paint it gold and then take out the chicken wire and replace it with a cane detailing that's kind of what i have in mind as a little like diy project for my hobby lobby shelf because i love it but it's just not my style anymore but i do love how you can put all the decor on top so when I talk about the Hobby Lobby shelf, I'm talking about stuff that you can put on top, which it might not look like it, but it takes a lot to fill this Hobby Lobby shelf and make it look really, really good. And then also stuff that you can put inside of it as well to put like decor items. A lot of people will do like a butter dish or like different Ray Dunn plates, but if you're not doing Ray Dunn, I try to give you different ideas of stuff that might fit in here. This opens outwards like this. So what I used to do was put like a decor item and then a bunch of like crinkle paper to like keep it pressed up against the front. But here it is, the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf. I just wanted to show it to you because I know I talk about it a lot and a lot of you probably think I'm crazy and didn't know what it was. So I wanted to clear the air and show you the shelf I'm always talking about. Okay, back to regularly scheduled programming. Er, just kidding. <laughs> what do we think about these nightstands? They have a bunch of them. It's looking really yellow on camera, but it has three drawers. I like the natural color of them they feel sanded like you could stain them if you want but I really like the way that they look just naturally the drawers are not the easiest to open but also not the most difficult they're only $89.59 so $90 a piece which is pretty good I really like them what do you guys think okay now back to Easter farm fresh Easter egg cottontail farms the little bunny and eggs little blue truck they have some plaid little bunnies, just a bunch of different options. This is adorable. I like the little like house around it, very like spring vibes. I like the little like fake floral painted around it. And then this riser is awesome. Could definitely use this all year round. It is $30 and then 40% off. Really cool, would be great for like, um, a coffee bar you could put like your syrups on it or a cup with little like honey sticks in it tons of different things you could do with that okay they have some more stuff mixed up in here some of it we've already seen but i found this even smaller little like basket and it looks like it's supposed to be like an ornament of some sorts or somewhere that you hang but if you cut that ribbon off this would be another really cute like table setting like middle thing it's a little bit smaller than the other one if you can see kind of like the size difference it's actually like a lot smaller so maybe for like a kid's table but those are really adorable and this one is $3.99 before the 40% off these $7.99 trees in this little wooden box they look like they have mini Cadbury eggs on them this one's a little bit more colorful it reminds me a lot of the Target Target dollar spot tree definitely a little bit different but if you can't find that one this is a really good alternative they have these galvanized tins with little like bouquets of eggs in them definitely a couple of different like schemes going on this one is more like muted colors with burlap or like straw in between and then this one is more colorful with some flowers both in little galvanized tins for $8.99 more little potted like half egg things definitely giving me like dollar spot or home good vibes for sure i've seen some other stuff like this they have a couple different styles with like different styles of eggs that come in different colored little half eggs so just depending on what you are looking for they have something for a lot of different styles these are $14.99 before 40% off, but just be sure to check them because even two of the three that I have right here, the little eggs have a crack in them. So definitely just make sure you check. Okay, I'm over in the spring shop now and they have a lot of really cute like artsy boho type stuff giving me like desert vibes, very like Arizona. Me goes to Arizona once and I'm like Arizona vibes, but I don't know, that's just 
what it's saying to me. Really, really nice stuff though I wanna show you. I just feel like this style is like very different for Hobby Lobby. I love these little like chip and dip things. These are actually plastic, so it's like perfect for outdoors. They have plates, bowls, like a mixing bowl set, bigger like chip bowls, they have these little like dip cups, but they have a lot of this like artsy, like warm toned colored stuff and they have like towels that match with it. It's a good day to be happy. The faces, they also have like table runners. This one is so interesting with the little tassels and then just a lot of like different textures. They have this macrame table runner that is so awesome. It is $50, so a bit pricey, but with this 40% off price guide, it would be $29.99. They have these awesome placemats too, like all these different like woven placemats. I feel like these are awesome. This could be like literal wall decor. Like you could hang this up on a wall if you wanted to, and I think that would be really pretty, but they have a lot of just different colors and textures, and I just feel like it's a new territory for Hobby Lobby, and I gotta say, I'm proud. Like literally, I could hang this up as part of my basket wall. If you just put a nail straight through it into the wall, that would be so pretty and add some really cool texture. Okay, I have been looking for this Dash Egg Bite Maker everywhere, and here it is freaking $40. Literally everywhere else, it's only 20. So I'm just gonna go ahead and order it online, but I'm also gonna keep looking at home goods because they do have this brand a lot of the times for like $7.99. But I want this so bad because I really wanna make my own like Starbucks egg bites, but I just can't pay that. Even with the 40% off, it still is more than the other stores. Guys, look at this. Pineapple ice cube tray. I love that. It's $4.99 before 40% off. Pineapple. They have these pineapple wine glasses as well. They have like silicone little like handles around them almost, like holders. And then they also have these little plastic pineapple cups. How fun is that? This is a really nice chip and dip set too. I like that the dip is like set up higher, but it's like all in the same bowl. Honestly, I just really love chips and dips. Okay, just came across all of this like spring shop cookware stuff and I'm absolutely obsessed with this line that has like the wood at the bottom and then that at the base. They also do have it in green. Probably gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of this just to kind of change out everything I do have. Some of it is Ray Dunn and I love this color but I don't want Ray Dunn. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a bunch of this and I will show you what I decide to get. These are really pretty, these measuring spoons. I really, really like them. They're $10 for the set but they are 40% off. But I'm pretty sure I already bought some hearth and hand ones, so I'm not gonna pick these up, but I can always come back and get them or order them online if I change my mind. Speaking of basket organization, Hobby Lobby has tons of different like organization kits. So they have these that come with like six baskets for $20. You get a bunch of different sizes. You actually get eight storage bins. They have it in a couple different colors, blue, pink, and white. If it's gonna go in your drawer, it doesn't really matter. But if you're looking to get organized, they have all of these different like organization bins and different sizes, all matching colors. And that's part of the 40% off spring shop stuff. So if you're looking to get organized, this could be a great place to come. These also remind me of the ones from the Target Dollar Spot. These are all sold separate. They honestly look exactly the same. They are 40% off here though. So I just showed you those colors, but I just wanted to give you an overview of like all the other colors. They have two, sage green, orange, blue, purple, mustard, red, gray, black, pink, blue, and white. So lots of different colors to choose from. I could seriously get trapped in this store for hours. I have, I'm known to do that, but I'm not going to let that happen today. But I do want to show you um, a couple videos ago, I was on the hunt for this planter from Target that I wanted to use for my utensils. Well, I found one here that is a really good dupe for it that I think you guys are going to love. And I feel like it's a bit more accessible since the one from Target is like always sold out. So I wanted to show it to you because I think it's really, really nice. Okay, here it is. This is so nice. I'm obsessed with the bottom and I like the speckled and it's just the perfect size for a utensil holder. It has the little handles on the side like the Target one. This one is just like more smooth and has this like speckled with brown texture, whereas mine is more of like a potted, not like terracotta, but almost like clay-like texture. 
but this one's awesome. I actually have a bunch of utensils in my cart, so I'll stick them in and we can kind of get an idea. Obviously, with like all the packaging on these, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but just kind of give you an idea. This is a perfect size for a utensil holder. Honestly, it reminds me so much of the Target one, but you can order this one online. If I hadn't found the Target one, or if I hadn't like found one yet that I loved, I definitely would have gotten this one. I love this one. And just in case you guys are interested, just wanted to give you a look at the bottom so you can see all the different like numbers and stuff, Calm Arrival Collection, just so that you can see all the little like numbers and stuff if you wanna look it up online. They do have like a smaller planter that goes with it. These like, beer stein looking mugs almost a lot of different like pieces in this collection but that big planter it's perfect for a utensil holder they have these like right at the front door these would be so cool for like a porch or entryway it's just like not easter eggs on top of each other but definitely this like stacked easter decoration they're really expensive but they are included in the deal so this tallest one is 250 and then a little bit of a shorter one is 199 so 200 these are really cool but they are expensive so definitely an investment but they do good deals here so i feel like it's worth it i also really like how they have this setup as well so it's just a basket filled with a bunch of these little mini carrots i love that i'm just seeing all this stuff on the way out so i wanted to show it to you guys I did not make it out of Hobby Lobby alive. I knew I was gonna end up buying something, so I wanted to show you guys. What I got, I spent $23, which honestly, I feel like that's not right. Like, I feel like I should have paid a little bit more for like all this stuff I got, so I'm definitely gonna check my receipt. I got all those like kitchen utensils. It was 40% off, so that might be right. I mean, honestly, all these items are $5 or less, but I don't know, I just thought I was gonna spend like 30 or $40, and I only spent 23. I'm not complaining. But like I said, I just got all of those like kitchen utensils. So I got the taupe with the wood handle. I got a metal whisk. They did have a silicone whisk, but then they had a metal whisk with the wood. And I don't know, I just didn't know if silicone would work really well to whisk stuff. And I didn't want to get one that wasn't very like functional. So I did get like a soup spoon. I got two of these types of like spatulas because we eat a lot of eggs and stuff and stuff in pans. So I wanted to get two of these. I find that we always have one or both dirty so we definitely need two then i did decide to grab a basting brush there's been a couple times where i'm like i just thought someone was gonna hit my car there's been a couple times where we have been like oh do we have one of those and they had one in this collection so i decided to pick it up then i grabbed this type of spatula okay so these are both called spatulas or do you guys call this something different this says silicone slotted turner but to me like this is a spatula but this is also a spatula i don't really know this is i, I don't know i don't want to keep saying the word spatula but what do you call these two different items but i did grab one of these these are perfect for just like <laughs> so chaotic these are perfect for just like scraping bowls and stuff so i decided to pick up one of those then i did get a slotted spoon perfect for like angel hair pasta any type of pasta and then a spoon with holes in it as well but i've also bought about like 20 wooden spoons that have holes don't have holes are square to mix in with this stuff and i think that it's going to look really nice now that everything matches and it's such a good price so if you're looking to like revamp your kitchen utensils definitely would recommend checking out hobby lobby they had this color green and then they also had white which i did really want the white ones or the cream colored ones but i was afraid that one they would get weirdly stained and two they were ray done like they had what they were at the bottom of the handle and i'm just trying to move away from that so i just decided to go with this taupey color and the like light brown handles and i really love them for 23 dollars it's a steal Alrighty, you guys well that is going to be it for me today i really hope that you loved seeing a bunch of the new spring and easter decor they have at hobby lobby this year if you love this video definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>